In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the media library. Media library is where you will have all your images, your videos, your files, etc, uh, etc. Et so essentially, click on your media library. This is an advanced pro paid plugin that I have equipped with all my clients. It gives you the functionality to create folders and organize the various different files and images into different categories, which is nice. So first of all, let's bulk select the various items. So I'm going to delete all these gray placeholder images. I'm just bulk select selecting them and then I'm going to delete permanently. Uh, okay. So you can also do uh, bulk select and, and hold the shift key and then click from one point to the next and it will select all of them. And so what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to drag this over to images like so. And then with the icons, there's three icons here. I've already grabbed those in the icons category. So you can view all your items in all files or have them as images. So you could create a category for videos, for example. You could also create a category for files. Now, for, uh, so let's just drag these out into levels whoops what's going on here there we go let's grab that oh sorry it's been a bit funny there we go so you can nest as you noticed videos within categories or you can have them as top level categories and then when you get a file so i'm going to pretend this horse is a pdf file i'm just going to drag him into files and so notice he's now left the images category and he's now in the files category. So this is a very simple way of organizing your photos. Um, and again, you can do a bulk select. Let's get rid of this yellow one, this C picture and this, this guitar. And then again, just delete permanently. You can also um, add files. And you can just drag and drop from a folder outside of the window, or you can select and go into your various images here. And just let's grab three of these, upload. So that'll upload those. And bearing in mind, I've also got a plugin that will compress the images, um, put them in various different sizes. So all of that is done for you. So all files and images. So those three new images, which were here, have been added. Um, okay, so you can also rename a category. So if I click on the icons category, rename it. And you can also change the width of this. Um, and that's essentially it. Now, if I go on to the image itself, you can do a little bit of functionality here. I'm not going to go into full details about this, but of particular note is the alternative text, also known as the alt text. This is the text that is displayed that for whatever reason, if an image is supposed, is supposed to display on a page, but, but doesn't, so maybe the server's down or there's some problem serving the image, or maybe the link to the image is broken, then the alternate text will display instead of the image. And, and typically you want to give an alternative text describing what you see in the image. Title is the title of the actual image that's been saved. Caption is um, what you give an image as kind of like a, it sits under the image and describes the image visually for people. Um, and this is the link. I'm not sure what description is. I don't think that's relevant. So it's caption, title, and alternative text. Now, title may have a small bearing in SEO, so you want to kind of have a relevant title. I mean, this 
This particular title is absolutely useless. Giving it some sort of meaning or some sort of relevance to your page or website might be useful. And again, with alt text, you don't want to over, overdo it with keywords and making it too uh, specific. Um, and so that will be the client's job to update these various different things. Now, you could go to edit more details. And that's not what I wanted to do. Um, let's cancel that. Let's go back. There should be an edit. Oh, there it is. There's the edit. <laughs> Sorry, it's right in front of me. Edit image. Very quickly. Last few bits and then we'll finish the video. You can crop an image. You click the crop button. Cancel. Sorry. Let's go back to edit. So if I click the crop button, you see we've got these little squares now appearing around the image. So I'm going to focus in a little bit more on that road, get a bit more of the, of the sky. So I've now brought that in. I'm going to click crop again, and that will now crop that, and I click save. That will save that image. You can rotate it left. You can rotate it right. You can flip it, um, those kinds of things. Uh, also undo, use the undo button. Uh, and you can scale it by playing around with these figures. Um, reducing those gives it a different scaling. Um, and that's essentially it. I'm not going to dive too deeply into this. Uh, it's not often you're going to be using this, but that feature is available. So that's essentially the media library. Feel free to create as many folders as you like and organize your files however you like. Usually, intuitively, I will have created uh, the folders that I think are relevant for you, like images, like icons, um, and feel free to use those as you wish.